So, these are some very different works using yes. other means. Right. Um, after doing 18 new works for my show last uh, spring and summer, I decided to do something really different, going back to two-dimensional work. And in the process of making one of the sculptures, I did this drawing of pelicans. And it was much smaller. So I really liked it because it was for various reasons. So I had it printed uh, in a larger format. And this is the, the drawing that was uh, printed initially. And then with, from that image, I started messing around with it. And I found my uh, a book of 1952 wallpaper. So I said, well, I think I will um, use the wallpaper to um, make the pelicans. So the first one, this is the first one I did. This was a uh, rose wallpaper. And um, I painted the background. And then I... Um, is, that, is that acrylic paint? Yes, this is acrylic paint. They're, these are all acrylic, actually. There's just acrylic uh, wallpaper and archival glue. So did the wallpaper have its own glue on it also, or was it no, without glue? No, I use um, the, uh, my archival glue to, to glue these in place. Mm -hmm. And so um, you can see that the pattern um, is kind of tracks one into another. This leaf goes there, and um, this leaf goes down there. And then with this one, there's... In the, in the wallpaper pattern, there was a uh, uh, sun, uh, what's it called, one of those, seahorse. So here's the body of the seahorse, and then here's the tail working around. So I wanted some more contrast um, between the black and, and the gray, so I painted that gray. Then these other two are actually, um, the same pattern in wallpaper in a different color scheme. So, and then, that, then I got the idea of reversing the whole thing. So this is a mirror image of this one. And so I wanted the, the images to kind of blend into the background. So I painted the background color just a little differently than the um, wallpaper color but enough to, uh, to set them off. Curtis, what yes. papers are you using for this? Um, this is paper that I got from my printer, uh, Tony Molitor on, um, at Berkeley G. Clay on 4th Street, and it's his textured, heavy archival paper. He printed onto that, and then I took it from there. So do you know if it's a cotton paper or if it's a mixture or you don't? I don't know. What you see? Probably cotton. Probably. And do you have a fixative over this as well? Not yet. No, but I, I haven't. So um, these, I get a little nervous when I want to put, you know, a fixative over this UV varnish. And so um, I don't do it with a roller the way I do it on the big pieces. I do it with a spray. And I, I put a two or three coats on. But I try not to change the color of the wallpaper. I mean, that's going to, you know, it's going to be another um, tense moment mm -hmm. because I really don't want it to, it should, I want it to look exactly like that, but I also want to have a product that won't fade. So I think it's my duty to try to protect it from UV light. Mm -hmm. And you also don't want any, of the, I mean, again, you haven't had the experience of moisture and whether or not this will separate off of this particular paper with no. the paint under it. No, I don't know. These will probably um, be framed, mm -hmm. so that will be more protection. Mm -hmm. There's a spacer so it, the glass isn't right up against the wallpaper. And then I took that same idea and abstracted it a bit um, using the cutouts. So it becomes a little more abstract.
stretch. And this, this was